Hi again, YouTubers. This is Largo64 with another thing having to do with poetry, but not actually poetry. It's a game. Um, a game that, um, actually I'm not sure where it came from, whether I invented it, because sometimes I do things like that, but this could have come from someplace else. At any rate, the uh, ones that are in here are mine. The idea is to start with, if such and such a poet were something other than a poet, uh, he or she might have written thus. Let me give you an example. If Dylan Thomas was a rabbi, um, he might have written, do not go Gentile into that good night. That's the idea. Uh, maybe you can come up with other ones too. I want to give you a few more here, and then I invite your comments and, uh, of course, your, uh, your additions to this. If Oscar Wilde were gay, <laughs> of course, um, he might have written The Importance of Being in Earnest. Uh, if Edgar Allan Poe uh, were a Puritan minister, he might have written Hell's Bells. If Edna St. Vincent Millay were a libertine, uh, she might have written I insert my candle at both ends. If Robert Frost had been a computer tech, he might have written Mending Firewall. These are on another computer here. I'm reading them off. I haven't seen these myself in a long time, even though I wrote them. Wait a second. Let me get a little more up here. If T.S. Eliot had been obsessed with Washington Irving, he might have written The um, Legend of the Sleepy Hollow Man. If Longfellow were a hairdresser, he might have written The Midnight Ride of Paul Mitchell. If William Blake had been a golf enthusiast, he might have written, Tiger, Tiger, burning bright, on the tour thou didst all right. If Elizabeth Barrett Browning had worked in an assay office, might she have written, Let me weigh the count. If Samuel Taylor Coleridge had been a restaurant critic, he might have written, Waiters, waiters everywhere, and no coffee to drink. If Rudyard Kipling had been an unsuccessful gambler, he might have written, If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all in one turn of pitch and toss, your wife will probably give you hell when you get home. If Thomas Gray had owned a chicken shack, he might have written, The paths of glory lead but to the gravy. Well, that's all the silliness for tonight. It's late. It's one o'clock, and I need some sleep, obviously. Uh, anyway, I'd like to have some of you um, come up with some more. I, I think this is a fun idea anyway. We'll see. Thanks very much for watching anyway.